you like Guinness? I love Guinness. Do you? Yeah, man. Creamy. What's, what's the plural of them? Guinai. Guinai. Guinewiwa. Do you want a Guinai? I want a Guinai. Do you want a Guinai? I want several Guinai. Mm. What would you say Guinness is made of? Love. Resentment. Wrong. It's barley, hops, <laughs> water and yeast. <laughs> Oh, look, it's the 9,000 year lease. Oh! It's a long time, isn't it? It's a long it? time. Imagine the solicitor's fees on that. Whoa. Oh, it's. Are we in heaven? God? Form of heaven, folks. God? You Is that welcome. you, God? Welcome to the white room. Guinness? Not God? exactly. No, you're in the white room here at the Guinness Storehouse. Yeah. I knew there'd be Guinness in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> so essentially, what we have, gentlemen, is four different aromas. Oh. Each one represents a different in ingredient. I thought you were just flavors obsessed that, you know? with vaping. I want to come over here. This is the first one. This is the malted barley. All right. Hello, malt. And if you get close to that, you're definitely picking up notes of toffee, notes of caramel, oh, yeah, quite yeah. strong, sweet flavors. Mm. I like this one. Hey man, love this vibe, man. <laughs> oh, it's gone straight to his head. Such a lightweight on malt. <laughs> Woo! You got any crisps? <laughs> let's, get, let's get you to, what's that one? You're well malted there. This is beer esters. Oh, okay. you like that. So maybe you can tell me what kind of aroma is coming from that. Spicy, like citrusy almost. What we're one. trying to represent here is actually butterscotch. That, that's oh. it. I was going to say the Harry Potter drink, the beer from butter beer. <laughs> <laughs> the Harry Potter drink. Butter beer. I feel like I'm in a really fancy sauna. Yeah. <laughs> <you> like it? <laughs> so anyway, we're going to move over to this one here. Mm. This is hops. Maybe you can tell me what it reminds you of. Mm. Hops. Oh, it's mm. like, that's supposed to be like, you know in the sauna when they like, the cleaner comes and does the cleaning? Yeah. Like a bit bleachy. It's definitely mm. not bleachy, no. It to smells me, like least. Harry Styles bath. Right, okay. Mm. Don't ask me how I know that. Right. Well, after the cleaner's been. No. <laughs> No, very much before the clean has been. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a great thing. And wow. the last one, which I've saved because it's the best, I think, is the roasted barley. Wow, that's like, um, that smells like a happy childhood. Mm, like, a, like cake. It's so cakey. Yeah. It cake smells, smells yeah. of safety. Yeah, it's, it's actually uh, chocolate. Which it smells amazing. Yeah, really. it is. Yeah, 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 it's fantastic, yeah. Callum, can I Good. ask you what you think of uh, Mawan's nails, he made them especially. For they are thing. amazing, I have to say. They're they absolutely wonderful? amazing. We're, we're, we're honoured that you have such, uh, such, such beautiful nails. And you, you call this the smell room? Yeah, this is actually the white room, as we call it. We right. call it the white room because we want to block out any kind of distractions and just focus on the, on the aromas. Right. I've got a smell room in my house. Have you? Yeah, it's called oh, the, the lounge. Uh, <laughs> that aroma. Mm. Here we are at the statue of Bag of Chips. I mean, James Joyce. Looks like Gandhi in a suit. Do you know much about James Joyce? So much. Man like Joyce. He, he's basically the biggest author from Joyce Ireland from in Ireland. the 20th century. 20th century? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Is that Ireland's David Walliams? So yeah. huge. Huge, big deal, yeah. I big think he was a judge on Ireland's Got Talent as well. The novel factor. The novel factor, mm. yeah. Should we have a little look at what he says on his thing? That's why people had degrees, so they can come to statues like this and be like, well, of course. Well, of course. I get it. Oh, look who's calling. It's James Joyce. James, what are you saying? James. I stand here all day with no choice, and I watch a stream of people. It sounds like a novelist, doesn't it? Walking past. What are you wearing, James? I'm wearing a faux sheepskin coat, and I'm here with Mawan. And I'm wearing nothing. And we're just reading a couple of books because we're thirsty for knowledge. Horny for education. We're just a couple of boys desperate for reading. <laughs> <laughs> reading. Yeah. Oh, you okay, I don't, I think, wrong number, sorry, wrong number. <laughs> should we go and see the next yeah, one? I think I'm... we should go this way. And I think when we get to the camera, we shouldn't stop. Yeah. That would be my guess, is just keep going. It's the Spire of Dublin. What does it do? Uh, not a great deal. And I'd be amazed if they get a full camera shot of that. It keeps going. It keeps going, doesn't it? it? Used to be Nelson's column. Nelson got blown up. They replaced him with Nelson's toothpick. OK, Joe, real talk. Yeah. Imagine it doesn't get smaller. Yeah. It's just one equal pillar all the way up. And it feels like it's a pillar going all the way to the sky. 
Okay. It's trippy, isn't it? Wow. I feel high right now. I think we should move on. I'm gonna I'm just gonna head up carry on with the walk, mate. You okay mate? Everything alright? That was good. That was really good. Come on. Whoa. Come that on. was like a whole I went to God and back. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dublin. Come on then. I felt like I touched the sky, honestly. Oh my god, are we can ye all of a sudden? Here we are, at the company inn. What do you call me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Camp Neil. It's beautiful. How tall do you reckon it is, mate? Really tall. Seven of yous. 30.5 metres. Mmm, delicious. But I brought you here because I wanted to see if the bell rang. Because apparently if it rings when you're underneath it, you're a virgin. OK. I don't hear no bell. No, just a couple of sluts mm. at college. Yeah, here we are. Dressed for college. Come at me, education. Yeah, ready for learning. Mm -hmm. Built in 1853. Mm. Another rumour is that if it tolls while you're underneath it, you'll get um, bad grades, your failure exams. If, if it tolls, what does that mean? The bell tolls, the bell oh. rings. So, oh. Yeah. But it's not ringing either, so you're going to have great grades, but you're also a slag. Hey, that's a good combination. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Should we go this way? This is a train. Yeah, it's sort of Marseille's answer to HS2. So it's very cute. It's cute, it is yeah. cute. I feel and like that's... I'm in a little French cartoon. Yeah. I'm cute, you're cute. Yeah, great little double act. Yeah. I was sort of a great double act name. Um, you know when people go, oh, it's just bits and bobs. Yeah. Bits and bobs. I really want to be Bob. Bob. Um, so I'm bits. Yeah, so you're the bits. I'm not sure I'd enjoy that. You, you want to be Bob? I don't want to be in a restaurant and so I go, oh my god, it's bits! <laughs> Where's Bob? <laughs> you know, go. But bits and bobs, can we do it though? What would our act be? Just bits and bobs, really. <laughs> Sorry, the clues are the name. <laughs> Just bits and bobs. What do you need for the set design? Just bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. <laughs> what is the difference between a bit and a bob, do you reckon? Well, a bit is like a bit, and a bob is like, you know, like a... like a bob. I sort of imagine a bit to be like something thin, and a bob is like a kind of ball. That, that works as well, because all the great kind of comedy duos there's always a kind of tall guy, mm. and there's always like a small fat guy. Yeah. Lauren and Hardy. Yeah. Bits. Yeah. Small. Bob. I'm starting to really take to this. Because I'm calling you skinny. You're liking it, aren't you? I'm yeah. saying you're tall and thin. Yeah, and gorgeous. And and... Well, I didn't say that, but you are. Yeah. Train. I'm gonna have a word It's with the, the bits and bobs version of speed. <laughs> bits and bobs. This summer, <laughs> Joe Lyson is bits. <laughs> As the challenge is, bobs. <laughs> in the summer smash. The Le Petit Train. <laughs> you can really get the sense of the fact that it's like the city of, I think they say 111 neighbourhoods. It's like each bit you go down has a different style it is, to it. Yeah. It's like a doner kebab, like loads of loads of the best bits just thrown in. I'm sure they'd be thrilled with that. Yeah. <laughs> with that review. Marseille, like a massive doner kebab. Yeah. No, it is cool. It is very cool. And also it's hometown to one of my favourite footballers, Zidane. Zizou. Yes. The reason why he had such amazing footwork and control is because he used to play. <laughs> Zizou! It's like he used to play in those little football courts with like a hundred children, so his control had to be really cool, so. It's not just Zidane that came from here, actually. Really? I've got a little football fact for you. Oh yeah, love it. Eric Cantona came from, from here as is well. Is he from Marseille? Yeah, from Marseille, yeah. Sach of Lure. Yeah. Rob. Yeah. Do you like football? Yeah. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a fan of West Brom. Have you gone to a game? Have you been to the West Brom? One and a half games. I got bored on the second oh, one. You got bored on the second one? You gave it a go. I gave it a go, yeah. yeah. It's very samey, isn't it? It's yeah. sort of lads running up and down. I like to sort of get, like, have a look at the stats. Right. Is this coming across convincingly? That no, I'm, I'm completely sold. From the minute you went, yeah! <laughs> I knew you were a real football fella. Well, I mentioned on Sunday brunch once that I'm a fan of West Brom, yeah. and now I'm listed as a notable fan on the, oh, yeah. a Wikipedia page. Nice. I feel like you've got that. Was it Delia Smith? Let's be <laughs> having you! I'd love that. I you love did that. that clip. She bought the club, though, yeah. didn't she? Yeah. I might buy a club. Yeah. 
you think I could buy West Brom? Yeah. We could have a whip round. We, we could have a whip round. Get Just get some of the balls. Birmingham people. Yeah. Me and Adrian Childs. Yeah. You Frank JK, Skinner. Jason Kaysen. Mist. Mist. She wants a man from Brum. Julie Walters. Julie Walters. <laughs> it's, it's quite the super group. It is. Alison Hammond. Okay. When you sort of look at the uh, the cross section of Brummies that have achieved sort of medium fame, it's um, sort of depressing, really, isn't it? No. Lidl! Oh, I wow. love it when there's I a Lidl. I love a Lidl. You know, Big Pun, the rapper. Mm. Massive rapper who died. Like I said, mm, I don't know. You don't know him. Yeah. Anyway, he's very famous for doing a tongue twister in hip hop. Oh, yes. Where it's that kind of dead in the middle of Little Italy. Do you know that one? No. It goes, dead. Guys, come on. <laughs> That's all. He goes, um, dead in the middle of Little Italy. Little did we know that we riddled some middle men who didn't do diddly. But he does it like, dead in the middle of little, 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 little. And for years, I thought he was saying dead in the middle of little. And I was like, was little around back then? Because it was the 90s. Yeah. But anyway, it's a great time. What picture. a place to die. Yeah. Well, he didn't. <laughs> the frozen meat section of yeah. little. That's how he went. He died how he lived. In the middle of little. Yes. Marseille is known as the city of soap. Mm -hmm. So whatever you say now, keep it clean. Oh. Woo! <laughs> he started banter. So I really loved that soap gag you did. Was that from your comedy album? Now that's what I call Banter 32. Track 11. It's a classic. Absolute classic. Oh, lots of soap. Oh, look. Ask him. It's one of my favourite things. What? It's a pyramid of soaps display case. It's vintage. Mm. Yeah. Some of the soaps in here are like 100 years old. Really? Yeah. I think the one I have is 100 years old. It's like really tiny with little hairs on it. Yeah. It's a bit cute. You tell me such lovely stories. I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm Joe. Serge. Hello, nice to Serge. meet you. Asimma. Serge, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. To make your soap, you have to smell different scents. Oh. So we have to guess what they are? Yes. Test the old yes. schnozzle. This one. You make this one. So. Oh. It's a smell. beautiful colour. That's soap. Mm, I don't know what it is, but I love it. Is it lavender? Because it says lavender on it there. Yeah. Oh, it's lavender. Joe, killing the romance. Lavender. Just What's edit it? that so it looks like I said it. Is it lavender? Yes. Ah! Oh. Ah, lemon. Lemone. <laughs> Sorry. Are we in Italy now? No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, mimosa. All right. Next one. Oh, yeah. Rose. Rose right, smells like Turkish mm. delight. Is it Rose? Yes. Yes! Ah, <laughs> yes, Rose. Because I like Turkish delight. Because I'm a fatty. Should we do it together? Yeah, shall one, we? One nostril each. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just smell my own breath there. Yeah. Is it Asim Chowdhury? <laughs> I get garlic for that aioli yeah. <laughs> and um, doner kebab. We're not great at this. Yeah. We're OK. You're OK. We're OK. Yeah. Most of our reviews say the same, so that's fine. <laughs> so what happens now? Now you understand all the smells. We can make your soap. Oh. We're going to make some soap. Wow. Cool. That is the machine. In this one, you have to put flake of soap. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, look! Wow. Oh my god! Stop. Ooh, look at you, Anna. Yeah. Oh god. Ooh, good. Now we we go to stamp the soap. Oh. Exciting. You ever stamped a soap before? Never. You haven't lived, mate. <laughs> haven't lived. You choose your stamp. What's the next letter? Oh. oh. Ooh, the suspense is killing me. That's the word I think of when I think of soap. Right. Hugo Boss was your first victim, now you're going for Dove. Yeah. Do you know Dove? Do you know Dove? The brand? Yeah. 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 Are they your main rivals? It depends. We're going to take them down for you. We're taking them down. Yeah. OK. OK. Oh, and I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah. Put the sad face Ooh. next to it. <laughs> that means it's beef. Oh, you yeah. kind of <laughs> sort of did it upside down. But... Still threatening and cool. Yeah. Kind of yeah. gangster. I like it. I could put sort of X's over the yeah. over dove. Yeah. Yeah, OK. Getting rid of dove. Ooh, 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 ooh. There you go. That's what I say to dove. Eve. 
Are you all right, Joe? You, do you want to hug? I'm having or... a breakdown. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? This is probably the only time in our life ever when we're dead and they show the reel <laughs> of us eating strudel being rained on on a horse. There'll be no other moment. There's loads of moments of me like on buses eating crisps. Okay, full disclosure, I'm constantly meeting people and eating strudel on a horse and cart. <laughs> Unbelievable. I did it last week with Paul Chuckle. <laughs> and he said exactly the same thing. He said, do you know what, Joe? <laughs> There'll never be a time again. <laughs> What else do you teach here? What other things could we learn? I do also savoury stuff like pretzels, mm. dumplings. Mm. Wow. Well, it'd be really funny if you said jiu-jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's Can starting. you do karate? Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, I have, well, I, I, have, I have my rolling pin. Yeah. <laughs> After a cooking sequence, I do like to fight. Okay. Yeah, you look like this. <laughs> <laughs> also with the suit, right? <laughs> She can't watch when I fight. <laughs> you okay? Can we get you anything? It came out of my mouth. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to help you? You can't say straight face fight. Can you just have a fight? We'll just get drunk over here. Prost. 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 Yeah. Hey, Sarah. Ever heard of art? <laughs> yes, I have. Like paintings. Yeah, no, this is art. <gasps> no. Paintings are old news. This is by <laughs> Julianus Urbanus. Oh, that's a good name. Yeah. Cool guy. I think it's a guy, I have no idea. It's meant to be, he says, not just experienced by the eyes, but by the buttocks. Oh. So, someone stole my grinder profile. <laughs> I love that they think this is art. Yeah. It's always harder to go up an escalator that's than not stairs. than stairs, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Do you want to go first or shall I? You go first. There's a cameraman in the way. <laughs> right. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was so fun! Was it? I want to go again. I think I crushed a ball. <laughs> Off you go! <laughs> oh, it's slower. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to stop. I can't put... <laughs> <laughs> Me shoes! Me shoes! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks! Really nice. Did you enjoy I'm that? To the end. I can't work out if it's me bother me shoes. That's causing the friction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting better at it. It's because you've got your lovely coat. Do you want to try the coat? Oh no, because then if it doesn't work, it's definitely me ass. <laughs> Let's go and see some more of Vilnius. Oh, yes, please. Oh, God. I've definitely oh, crushed a ball. Streaming. Definitely crushed a oh, ball. Oh, no. I brought you to my favourite bar oh. that I've never been to. <laughs> OK. But I love the name. Spunker. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> You have a nice coat. <laughs> Thank you. you look, I think you look You nice. look like a microphone, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lovely place. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. It's been so long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd like a pint of spunker, please. Oh, yeah, make that too. Are you Thanks. excited for a glass of spunker? Yeah. What's a toast going to be? Uh, Thank you very cheers. much. To the spunker. spunker. Oh, it's really good. That is a delicious pint of spunk. It's really nice. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be drunk really quickly. Yeah. You're not a big drinker, are you? Mm. If I got to there... Yeah, you'd be... I'd have to put my nightie on. <laughs> I could have a, about ten pints, I reckon I'd be all right. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. It definitely has that sort of corky taste to it as well. Like, you can sort of taste the sort of the barrelly vibe Can to you? It. That sounds like you don't know what you're talking about. Mm. I, I was literally just filling up. Just don't more. have sophisticated a palate. Right. It is nice, is what yeah. I can do. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. I'm trying to get around the fact that it's called Sprunker. I can't. <laughs> Everything I go to say, I realise, because of the name of the drink, it's going to sound completely inappropriate. Just call it beer. Beer. I'm a guzzler of beer. If you put a pint in front of me, I'm guzzling it down ever so quick. I'm a sipper. Whereas you're a sipper. Yeah. I have very little control I like control to savour the it. taste. Mm. You just want to get drunk. I just want to shove it down. And so 
I struggle to yeah, regulate. When I've got a pint pace of beer, yourself. I struggle to pace myself with beer. I'd be amazed if any of this makes a broadcast. Yeah. They're not even rolling on these cameras anymore. No, they they've stopped, yeah. stopped the tape. They've stopped the, the tape. tape. Probably still a tape.